What up guys, welcome to the Sephiroth Relic Draw. Ah oh, man, it kinda sucks how the realm realm thingy got changed, the realm event got changed, um, realm of recollection or something, got changed to the 22nd I think, so it goes over Christmas which is absolutely insane, um, they actually did change the relics of it, so you can see the updated ones in the Buck Pal link in my description every time you can actually see it, um, I get most of my information from there, so just keep that in mind. Um, also, yeah, it looks freaking unbelievable. I love it. It's the Japanese interface. Um, don't forget to actually go through the specials as well. Get that done. But yeah, I'm really, really happy about it. So let's just do the 100 relic, 100 gem relic draw. First we have Sephiroth. Deal four successive physical attacks to one target and a moderate chance to sap it. Of course you get the mastery reward. This is probably the most powerful katana out at the moment now. Um... Comes close to One Winged Angel. I think One Winged Angel is 135, if not the same. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty damn good one. We'll have a chance to sap it. If you already have the One Winged Angel, it would be pretty cool to have this one because you can blind and sap with Sephiroth as well. So it, you can just stack abilities, which is pretty cool. Telescopic Baton for Ren Reno or Reno. Deal magic damage to deal magic lightning damage to all targets with a moderate chance to paralyze them. Is this... no, I thought it was the one with um, the pyramid thing, but I guess not. 128 magic, again it's a rod, which is kind of weird. I don't see Reno as a white eye and a black mage for some reason, but it looks pretty cool anyway. Uh, moderate chance to paralyze them, I guess it's alright, because it's AoE and at least it does something, unlike some other some other AoE attacks, they just do the AoE attack and that's it. Deal physical damage to all targets and lower their defense with Barrett's Gavin Gun. We have seen this one before. It is a magic break, so just keep that in mind. Um, but it is a gun arm. I believe only Barrett can use it. I may be wrong, but yeah, just send me a message in the comments saying, Yes, you're wrong! Some other person can use it as well. Yeah. Keepsake Ribbon is also a really, really good one. I use it in pretty much all my bloody um, videos. So, yeah, you can actually see how good it is. 200%, I believe, actually 50% increase of attack. So, it's a huge deal. And I believe Mog may be on the same path as the Keepsake Ribbon. So, Mog's one may be actually even better because it gives regen as well. Presser's Watch restore a small amount of HP to all allies, so Kira to all allies, again, this is an AoE one, so, ooh, look at the little glitter. Um, it's pretty good because there's not a lot of AoE heals, but I guess, um, more and more come out every time. Runeblade. Deal physical damage to one target with a moderate chance to slot. Yeah, it's just Titus's one, so, meh. And then we have the normal ones, the motor drive and Turk suit. Turk suit looks pretty cool, right? <laughs> That'll be pretty cool to get that. So we're only going to do the 100 gem draw here to see what we get, as usual. Man, it really sucks not to get anything. Some guy got like three fives in a row. Absolutely insane. Boom. Yes, we got a four. That's Final Fantasy 13, I believe, yeah. So, yeah, I guess it's not that bad. Uh, nothing to complain about really. Anyway, we'll see how we go. We well, have to do the Sephiroth event a bit later. Well, actually, I've done some of it already, so quite a while to go. <laughs> so cool seeing them, seeing those little chibi characters. Yeah, so I'm only going to do the winding tunnel. I believe it's the Turks one. So yeah, it'll be pretty cool to watch, and I'll see you guys next time. 